We've got an easy bar cable curl. Again, you can use straight or easy bar. It's just changing that hand position. Some people can't really get into that straight position. They haven't got the supination in the wrist. So you would use an easy bar, but you can do this with a straight bar if it suits your, your own profile. So again, we're, we're going for a slightly wider position on, on the bar here. Um, shoulder, elbow, and wrist is in that nice alignment. This is nice and locked through his scapula. He's pulling up. Keeping that elbow in that position, shortening the bicep at the top, control on the way down. And as you can see, there's no movement here. This is staying in position, fully shortening the bicep at the top and coming down nice and slowly. If he changes his hand position here, he can go a little bit narrower. Again, it depends on the person if this is suits. So again, that joint alignment, coming up and squeeze, nothing moving again. So it's just an adjustment of the hand position here. One thing you'll find, the closer you come into the body, in that midline, the closer you come to the midline, the stronger you will be. Up and squeeze and control. The easy bar is really, really, really good because most people don't have that supination, so they're not able to use a straight bar. They'll get elbow pain over time. So we find that the easy bar is really good, but that's an easy bar or straight bar cable curl.